Elon Musk has just shocked the entire industry by revealing the date for Starship's next test flight. While everyone was expecting SpaceX to take several months to prepare for another launch, Elon Musk has revealed that the Starship may take to the skies sooner than anyone anticipated. Let's take a look at this shocking announcement and if SpaceX can pull it off. On November 18th, SpaceX accomplished an impressive feat by successfully launching the Starship rocket for the second time, propelling it into space. While enthusiasts continue to analyze and fervently discuss the remarkable success of this second launch, Elon Musk surprised everyone by disclosing the upcoming launch date for the next Starship flight. The timing of this launch schedule is truly remarkable, reflecting an unexpectedly early and ambitious plan. Putting aside the buzz generated by the recent Starship explosion, which is currently causing a stir in the rocket enthusiast community, what has truly captured everyone's attention is a significant announcement from SpaceX's CEO. Just one day after the conclusion of the second Starship launch, company founder and CEO Elon Musk declared that the third Starship vehicle should be ready to fly in the next three to four weeks. This timeline positions the technical readiness just before Christmas. This accelerated pace is feasible due to the proven stability of the pad structure, allowing for a substantial reduction in preparation time compared to the second launch. For SpaceX, readiness for a new launch is always present, and Elon Musk emphasized this further in a tweet. He mentioned that three ships, namely Ship 30, Ship 31, and Ship 32, are in the final stages of production in the high bay. Observers from the highway can see these three Starship prototypes undergoing meticulous preparations, laying the groundwork for upcoming missions. Ship 30 is expected to undergo its first cryogenic test at Massey's in the coming days. Meanwhile, the third and final orbital flight test, featuring Ship 28 and Booster 10, will follow. Notably, Booster 11 has completed cryogenic testing at Massey's and has now arrived at the production site. It's worth mentioning that Booster 10 has successfully passed the crucial cryogenic testing phase and is currently awaiting a static fire test. This test will take place once the orbital launch mount is prepared to host it. Anticipated within the next two weeks, Booster 10 will be positioned at the OM, Orbital Launch Mount. SpaceX has efficiently placed it on the engine installation stand in Mega Bay for further preparations. Additionally, SpaceX is set to begin testing with Ship 28, using existing test stands, eliminating the need for suborbital pad preparations. Ship 28 has completed most of its crucial installations, with the most notable being its robust heat shield tiles compared to those on Ship 25 from the recent flight. However, despite hardware readiness, the timing of the third flight is contingent on the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, the government regulatory agency. Following Saturday's flight, which ended in two explosions over the Gulf of Mexico, the FAA grounded Starship. The return to flight of the Starship Super Heavy vehicle depends on the FAA determining that any system, process, or procedure related to the mishap does not compromise public safety. SpaceX is obligated to undergo legal procedures to ensure compliance and safety before proceeding with launches. The meticulous review process by the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, hinges on ongoing impacts and studies at the Starbase facility. Unlike typical aerospace companies that take years to produce a single prototype with meticulously certified and inventoried components, SpaceX follows a different approach. SpaceX is swiftly transitioning from one prototype to another, each iteration building on the results of previous tests with rapid and continuous changes to any component or system that requires attention. While this approach is highly effective in achieving rapid advancements, it doesn't align seamlessly with regulatory bodies seeking careful attention to every aspect of vehicle development. The FAA in particular is the agency responsible for granting licenses for rocket launches in the US or by US companies. Their primary concern is the safety of people and property on the ground and in adjacent waters. Each rocket launch necessitates a launch readiness assessment, and the FAA expects each test flight to exhibit more success than failure especially concerning potential high lethality landing failures. When SpaceX aims for a quick third Starship launch, they must persuade the FAA that the launch poses minimal danger to lives or property outside of SpaceX's jurisdiction. Similar to their approach after the test flight in April, SpaceX will create a list of corrective actions to address the issues encountered in Saturday's launch. The FAA will thoroughly review this list and ensure that SpaceX completes all actions related to public safety before issuing a new commercial launch license for the third Starship test flight. FAA regulations mandate that companies with reusable launch vehicle licenses, such as SpaceX's Starship, must adhere to an expected casualty limit for the uninvolved public, set at no more than zero. 00001 per launch, or one casualty per 10,000 launches. The risk to any one individual cannot exceed one in a million. Notably, this is more stringent than NASA's safety analysis for crewed flights, as NASA appears to be accepting a risk of a total crew loss being 1 in 270, a requirement for commercial crew contracts. 
Another crucial aspect of FAA concern is the flight termination system, designed to prevent flights from deviating outside the permitted area. The third Starship launch may not face hindrances in this regard, as the second Starship launch demonstrated the system's effectiveness. The rocket veered off course and immediately self-destructed as part of the process, indicating the successful testing of this safety measure. Beyond satisfying the FAA, SpaceX also needs approval from US, fish and wildlife officials. A key upgrade that drew the attention of these officials is SpaceX's new water deluge system. After the first launch, the agency's biologists were reportedly astonished that SpaceX at that time lacked flame suppression technology for Starship, an industry and space agency standard. These systems are crucial for dissipating some of the heat and noise generated by a rocket. SpaceX's new system involves flooding 358,000 gallons of water from ground tanks into steel plates and releasing them through holes in the plating. Elon Musk characterized it as a massive, super strong shower head pointing up. In August, high levels of chromium and zinc, components of stainless steel and aluminum, as well as iron, were found in the water. However, a subsequent test revealed lower concentrations of these metals. This is seen as a positive sign, indicating improvement in SpaceX's system. Assessments from this second test flight will determine whether SpaceX's new system is effective at reducing debris and pollution. What is clear is that not having such a system would be insufficient steel, being a ductile material rather than a brittle one, differs from concrete and doesn't fracture in the same way, according to Phil Metzger, a planetary scientist at the University of Central Florida. He explains that their analysis revealed that concrete on the first launch fractured, allowing hot gas to pass through the cracks, ultimately causing the pad to explode under tension, akin to a small volcanic eruption. Metzger is optimistic that the new deluge system has addressed this problem, mitigating significant risks of debris or contaminated deluge water. Although precise inspection results are pending, the upgraded launch pad's excellent performance suggests that US Fish and Wildlife officials may have a less challenging investigation this time. There appears to be no significant damage to probe. SpaceX's current focus should be on advancing the production and testing of the vehicle hardware while addressing any remaining issues. Fortunately, they face fewer obstacles compared to the challenges encountered during the first Starship test launch. SpaceX has successfully achieved its immediate goals, particularly addressing environmental concerns, a significant factor that previously led to prolonged delays between launches. Government agencies may give the green light for the Starship launch sooner than anticipated. While securing FAA approvals delayed the Starship program by several months, the requirements imposed on the company concerning hardware changes and minimizing environmental impact are deemed quite manageable. Elon Musk expressed his gratitude to the FAA for the rapid approval of a complex launch license in a tweet following the launch. This indicates an improved and more amicable relationship between Elon and these regulatory agencies. It seems like the upcoming third Starship flight is scheduled to take off soon and anticipation is building. What do you think? Can SpaceX pull off another launch before the new year? Uh, please share your thoughts in the comments below.